Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coastal Cooking. Uh, tonight we're going to start a recipe, another one of my sous vide deals. I'm going to take an old marinade that I've used before. There's an old steakhouse marinade that I've tweaked a little bit. And we're going to do like a London broil. Uh, and I'm going to show y'all real quick how we're going to do this. I'll make the marinade here tonight. And the marinade started. What we've got is three cups of pineapple juice. To that, I'm going to add a cup of soy sauce. Okay. Amazing how this stuff gets all over the counter. And then we've got a, um, a half a cup of red wine vinegar. Then we've got a, uh, about a third a cup of sherry. All right. Then we've got a, about a third a cup of a dry white wine. We'll use something good, something that you would drink. Then also, want to get some uh, some garlic powder that's important so let's get a little garlic powder here that'll help us kick it up a little bit unless it's a uh, you know just about a most about a tablespoon or so garlic powder give that a little bit more flavor to it and then I want to take um, some sugar this is uh, three quarter cups of just plain white sugar all right and then I also will come in with a little bit of cracked black pepper. I thought I had a peppermint around here somewhere. I guess I don't. I had to skip the cracked black pepper. But I mean, that's optional. You can do cracked black pepper or not. Uh, apparently, my peppermint has gone missing. So uh, let's go ahead and stir this in. Stir it in real good there. All right, and then we'll get the steak ready. All right, so what we have here is a three pound top round steak. And you know, basically the London broil is more the method than the cut. So we're gonna marinate it and cook it. So, like I said, we got it. I'm gonna get into one of these bags. Make sure it's gonna fit. Let's see. Should fit there. Let me try to get it down in this bag, and then we'll move on from there. All right, so I got the London broil to barely fit down here in my 12 by 13 inch bag. It's just, it was almost too wide, but you know what we're going to do? I'm going to stir the, the marinade one more time, and I'm going to pour this in there with the London broil, or at least as much of it as we can get. So, got this up here. Bring you up a little bit here so you can see. And let's start um, pouring some of this in there. And this is going to be really, really good stuff, y'all. I've tried this before, and you know, not on the London, on the the top round, but on the uh, on just regular steak, like a sirloin, it's absolutely fabulous. And this is one of the best marinades out there. Like I said, it came from an old steakhouse. It's an old recipe I've got off the internet that they used to do. So anyway, let's take it in here and let's. Uh, Vacuum seal it. All right, got it inside my VP 112S here. Everything's strapped down. Make sure it's all even here. All right, and we're gonna lower the lid here. Now bring y'all over here and let you see. We're gonna hit start and. Uh, It'll do the vacuum thing for about 70 seconds. It's pretty neat because with the, the water in there, I don't know if you can see or not, it's like it'll start boiling because uh, pressure and everything like that, you know, it's a much lower boiling point. Maybe y'all can see here in just a minute. But uh, yeah, see it's starting to bubble, look, it's starting to fizz up. Isn't that cool? The water actually <laughs> foaming, fizzing and everything like that. Uh oh, maybe a little bit too much water. Hold on. All right, y'all, we're going to give this try again. I cleaned up and poured some of the liquid out, okay? All right, so about 30 seconds, it's foaming. You can see it's kind of boiling in the back, but it's not coming over the top, so that's good. Not yet, at least. So uh, let's just hope this one holds. That was really something. I, I, did not, I cannot believe it did that earlier. Give it 10 more seconds of this.
All right, well that time did it. We got it sealed. So uh, I'll put this in the refrigerator for a few days and let it roll. All right, y'all. So the linen broil marinated for 48 hours. I took it out last night, drained the juice out of there, and I just put it, resealed it in a smaller bag, right? Get it ready for the sous vide. Uh, what we'll do now with the sous vide at 130, put it in here for about 11 hours while I'm at work. This is what we're talking about right here. Let's just let it go down in there. And uh, I'm going to push it down like this. Okay. I'll get the sous vide to not go crooked. And uh, put a cap on there and let it go for 11 hours at 1.30, y'all. Alright, so I've got it set up. I've got the lid on here. Got it down there in the water. And uh, good to go here for 11 hours. Hey, y'all. Back home from work. Uh, I've had this uh, London Brawl Souvain, I guess you would say, for about 11 12 hours now. Show what we got over here, pan over here. Uh, just Souvain away here. We're going to open this up, y'all, and um, take it out. And oh man, we, you know, we got to put a sear on it, just like anything else in the Souvain. We're going to put a sear on it and plug the, uh, the immersion circulator here. out there it's kind of everything made that the way and then we'll take our bag and of course I'll spill water all over the counter but look at all that juice man that, that's come come out of the uh, oh yes sir okay so we're gonna get this dude out dry it off a little bit and uh, save that juice, put that aside. All right, y'all, you can see here I've got it uh, on a little cookie cooling rack, blow it off and everything. Now what I'll do is put some seasoning on here. I love this uh, Sure Shot Seeds gunpowder seasoning, one of my favorite in the world steak seasonings. So let's just kind of put some of that on there. Yeah, you want a little bit of steak season there on the outside just to uh, get everything nice right there. Okay, so we got that. Got this little brush here, just kind of smooth that around a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do, I've got some, um, where'd it go? Got some butter here that I just melted. And uh, what we'll do is just kind of, just look, just brush a little butter on here. This is gonna kind of help out a little bit in the browning process. And uh, well, that's what we want. We want this butter on here just like this, y'all. Let's just, just lux that on there just like that. Just rub it on on the outside. Remember, I put the sure shots on here first. Now we're putting some of the butter on here. It's going to help us with the browning. Help us get a wonderful flavor here. So we want that. Also, we'll come in after the butter with a little bit of coarse ground. Just a little crap black here. All right, with black pepper. We go just put a little layer of that on here. That was real good. Alright. So some cracked black pepper. A little bit of butter. First the sure shot says. I'm going to do the other side just like that. Alright now the best way to sear one of these things I think. Is going to be just uh, inside the house here with this. Uh, I've got a cast iron skillet. Let's get this sucker smoking hot here. I'm going to put this down for about a minute and a half on each side. I think it's going to be. One of the best ways we're going to do this is really get a nice sear on each side. Good even sear. You know, you just love to have a good cast iron pan here. Turn up to about medium high or high heat here. Make sure it's just nice and hot before we lay it down. And here we go with it. All right, I'm going to set my timer for a minute and a half. And there we go, we'll do that side, and we'll flip it over and do the other side. Which also, I just took it off here, we'll let it rest a few minutes. Then we'll slice into this gorgeous piece of meat here. Oh yeah. Alright y'all, she's ready to slice now. Let's take a look down here. And um, at this point here on this London Brawl, this thing looks awesome y'all. And uh, let's go ahead and just get a little slice right here. Oh wow, look at that color. 
look at that. Like rose, just, oh, juiciness. That is fantastic, y'all. I tell you what, you can't beat that. That is what, I mean, That that's, that's gorgeous. That is real deal right there. Super, super tender. Y'all, I got to taste this. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, let's give this a taste, y'all. First off, let me get some off of here. Let's give it a little tenderness test right there, almost like a brisket. And uh, let's just pull it apart. Look at that tenderness, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -hmm. That taste is unbelievable. That marinade, that beef coming through as well. Oh wow, sweet pineapple and that pepper right there at the end. Mm -mm. Oh, that is amazing. That is so good. Man, you've got to try that London broil style with the souvé. I love it, y'all. Please uh, give us a try. Y'all, please, uh, again, like my videos, sub my channel. I uh, appreciate all y'all's support. You know, um, I, I'm sure you saw my video, but, you know, I get the cups out now. Y'all go to the, the Big Frig site. I'll put that in the description box where you can get your cup. There's a contest going on here for a short while. $100 gift certificate, so check that out. But, oh, yeah, y'all, this, this, this right here is awesome, awesome. They're really, really good stuff. It was 130 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 hours. What I did with this London bro. Thumbs up, y'all. Check it out. A couple other notes I want to tell you on that that London bro. Uh, I think it make great sandwiches too. You slice it up super thin and make some killer roast beef, French dip, something like that. Also, like I said, you don't have to go that long. I think six hours would have been fine. Uh, there was souvé or sous vide is you're not going to overcook it you know get it too well done but i think the longer you go you draw some more juices out i think i've seen all the juices in the bag it wouldn't dry by any means but i think six hours would have done it so anyway y'all just a few little tips there from my experience but uh thank y'all so much